Well, to find out exactly what children wanted, I was very lucky to interview Nora and Javier of Florida, who have given us quite a good insight into what they feel kids want from audio drama. Enjoy these words of wisdom. Hello and welcome to Javier and Nora from Florida. Hooray, hello. Hooray. <laughs> well, thank you for talking to us before you go off to work today. You must be absolutely exhausted after a long night's sleep and dreaming. First things first, I hear that you absolutely love listening to stories and audio drama. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Exciting. And what kind of things are you listening to for podcast and audio drama at the moment? We're listening to this one called Aaron's World, which is about dinosaurs. Yes. And why do you like that? Because well, when I was little, I used to really be into dinosaurs, and I wanted to be a paleontologist when I grew up. Amazing. And how about you? Have you got any favourites as well that you listen to? Yes. My favourite is Mars Patel. Because since the beginning, it's been a mystery. Since people have been disappearing, they found a few of them, but one of them's one of them's still gone missing. Yeah, so you really care about those characters. And have you got any theories as to what's happened? Yes, because a character yeah. in the series said that, that, that this team of evil guys, like, broke into their Mars dome. Mm-hmm. And, like, and then, he, and then he said there's a likely chance... That that it that Aurora is off the face of the planet. Oh, oh. and so I've, obviously, as it's your favorite thing, you seem to be very into it. I really like it. But what is it about it that you love? It's a it's about one main character mm-hmm. called Mars Patel. Yeah, I mean, it, everyone in in this special condition, everyone has their own special like talent, mm. and it makes that talent super. Super strong. Yes. So that kind of appeals to you, that kind of superhero nature, yes. Yeah, everyone has a power. Mm. Everyone has, like, a, a power that gets, like, multiplied, so then it's very strong. But Mars still doesn't have any powers. Bless him. So do you think that way that story is told gets you really excited about those individual characters? I guess. <laughs> Why do you think podcasts are quite fun to have as part of the, the things that you do? Because you've got television, you've got films, you've got books. Awesome. Well, I, I think podcasts are awesome because it, it, if we don't, if we aren't really in the mood of reading and we're only in the mood of listening to something, we could just play a podcast and then it's like this whole story that we just have, that we just have to push one button and then we can listen to it. Absolutely. Like, and have you chosen those things to listen to yourself, or has your dad sat down and sort of talked to you about what you can listen to, or your mum? Mm-hmm. He likes he he likes to see when there's a new a new uh, podcast. We like to listen to the trailer first. Ah, yes. So that tells you a lot of information about the style of it, doesn't it, and the characters? Yeah. Yes, and then we and then we would like and then we would see if we would like the trailer or not. Wow, that's really important. So people making children's audio need to make sure that their trailer is awesome to pique your interest. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, yes. And where do you prefer to listen to podcasts? Do you listen like in headphones? In the car. In the car. In the car. Yeah. So that's in the car. together as a family. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And do you find yourself talking about the episode afterwards as well? Sometimes, especially in Aaron's world, because Mm. it's like it has a bunch of sound effects, and I really like those sound effects because it kind of tells you where it is, and you can kind of imagine that you're Uh there with them. And so I really like that, and it's it's really cool. And and then there's this robot named um, Ino. And then mm-hmm. sometimes I talk about that afterwards because of what happened in the story. <gasps> Crazy. So you kind of guess what might happen and, and why yeah. it's happened. So exciting. Good. And, and what kind of places do you like audio drama to, to get you to imagine? What kind of worlds do you think are really well, exciting? I think, well, well, because of Aaron's world, it takes place in, like, the past. It goes, like, to dinosaur times and then to enter the Mesozoic era and different and then places. Then to the future. Yeah, it wow. like goes to all different places. And so I like to imagine that wherever they're describing in the story that I'm there with them. Amazing. And have you made any other stories up yourself because of what you've heard? 
when sometimes when when we're like sometimes when we're like uh, just when I read a book and then I have to stop reading, I like make up what might have happened awesome. instead of what actually did happen in the story. And maybe your version is even better than what you read. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes not. <laughs> <laughs> and how interactive do you get with the podcast? Have you ever written in or emailed or, or used any other way of interacting with it? Oh, one, sometimes like we make Lego versions of podcasts yeah. and then we send them to and we whoever, send a picture of like, it. To whoever made the podcast. See, that's amazing. Because I was going to ask you if you knew if your dad was using your kit to do the same. Because he's been putting some amazing pieces of Lego kind of still images yeah. from podcasts that I love as well. So do you help him do that? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes some of them from podcasts we help a lot with. Like in On Patrol, I made Sonic Boom. And wow. I made Campton and Tian, Car Wash Man and Wellness Man. Superb. And is there somewhere that other people can find these amazing Lego creations? Yeah, because Daddy like, puts them online yeah. like, and sends them directly to the pe- the person, but other people can see it too, yes. and then it's, it, they see That's it. That's so them. cool. I'm imagining that you could you know, develop that and, and create a whole animation with these little Lego pieces one day maybe. What do you yeah. think? <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> But yeah, so are you inspired by podcasting? Do you think you could maybe make your own one day? We were thinking about it, but then we kind of yeah. stopped the idea for a little while. And oh, okay. Why is that? Why? I think we might go back. To yeah? It. Oh, so you've got an idea already that you had, but you kind of have yeah. stopped for a minute. And what stopped you from developing it at the minute then? Well, I think it's because like, we, when we, start, we started doing it, but then we kind of forgot about it because of other things happening. Because new podcasts, yeah. and we wanted to listen to them. You know, life's busy. Yeah. Yeah, so exciting. But we can hopefully watch this space to see what comes from you guys at some point soon, I hope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what would you give as a message to any storytellers out there who, who want to make podcasts for children? What does it need to have to be an amazing podcast for children? For me... For me, it would be sound effects because I know that whenever there's a one with like a lot of sound effects that gives a lot of detail about the environment, I really want to listen to it because it like tells a lot. Excellent. And how about you? What what were your requests for people to make awesome podcasts? I think that if if they want for children, if they want to make like a children's science podcast, I think they should add a bunch of. Like what she said, I think they should add a bunch of, like, scientific details. What kind of things would you love to hear about? Kind of like, kind of like a bunch of episodes that, that all come together and make a story. Like Aaron's World. Ah, so yeah. it's a good model to have. Yeah. So if you haven't heard Aaron's World, everybody, these two definitely are saying this one you should listen to as mm-hmm. an example of an awesome kids podcast. Yeah. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So Superb. Um, also, I noticed that there's no Pokemon podcast. So if, if people want to make a story, I should just make a Pokemon podcast. <laughs> so there you go. The demand has been raised, world. We need a Pokemon podcast for these kids. <laughs> well, thank you so, so much for giving up part of your day to speak to us. And I really hope to see your podcast up and out there in the next however long it takes you to do it. And hope that your love of storytelling inspires other people to do so too. Thank you so much, you two. Take care. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.